a really big God bless you friends you know God is our deliverer God is our deliverer I don't speak that as someone who um, doesn't have any experience with the reality of that of the truth of that I don't speak as one who's just spouting off the scriptures and is not really living in the reality of being delivered God is our deliverer friends and uh, I would just like to share something with you um, that I don't I don't talk about this much because I don't want to give it any glory but sometimes I need to talk about it because I need to give glory to God and to encourage the saints in this hour because more than ever before our friends we need to be delivered delivered into the hands of the Lord not out of this world we live in this world we're of we're in this world but we're not of this world we're not talking about deliverance from this world we're talking about deliverance into the hands of God you know the people of God they were not delivered out of the world when they crossed the Red Sea no they went through on dry ground and continued on their way and continued to fight many battles friends it's absolutely imperative that we realize that the deliverance comes from God and it doesn't come from having the circumstances change but I wanted to share something with your friends that I don't normally talk about because as I say I don't want to give it any place in my life but I will talk about it when it gives glory to God so the last three weeks I have been really uh, ill really knocked out and uh, I won't go into the details but it's an ongoing situation and um, I'm, I continue and the presence of the Lord remains strong in those moments. In fact, his presence comes in a deeper, tangible way through the suffering. And I get to a point where I have to start asking people, reluctantly I ask people, pray for me, pray for me. And uh, I've asked a few people, a few of you I've asked um, over the last few days. And then yesterday, a good friend of mine, I asked him to pray. And again, as I say, I'm reluctant to talk about these things. I want to just carry on and just... But, you know, it gets to that point where you're just like, no, I, I need, I need some, somebody else, somebody else to step in and pray. And so I sent this message and yesterday in the situation that I was in, the health situation that I was in, and uh, I won't go into details friends, but it's not just a little thing, <laughs> let me just say it's not just a small thing. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm there sitting in the evening and something fell off of me, something came off of me and I just said to Ursula, I've, I've got a renewed strength in my spirit, a, re a renewed strength has come all over me, like it's, it, like it's a new, it's a new moment, you know, a new boldness, a new boldness to carry on and to keep going. I'd like to say friends, I really got a sense in my spirit at the moment that many people are tired Many Christians are tired. They've had two years of being exhausted. Some of that, friends, is due to our inability to climb up into the secret place. I'm, I really believe, friends, that we have got to do that. You know, the world is being taught to hate. The world is being taught to hate. And we see that agenda working out throughout this whole last two years. Hate those who don't comply. But we have also got to be careful, friends, that we don't hate those who are hating us. This is the globalist plan, one of the strategies, friends, to divide and conquer, that we hate one another. And Jesus prophesied this, that we would be hated, friends, but we shouldn't be self-righteous in our 
thinking. I think that we're okay to hate others that are hating us because it's justified. It's not justified before God, friends. We've always got to have a, a heart, a heart for God, a motive that is godly, that is righteous and not self-righteous because that's judging. That self-righteousness is judging, but godly righteous is not, is not, friends. So we have to be in the throne room. We have to be in the place of grace to be able to see and to speak and, and to live and to gain strength from the Lord always, to gain strength from the Lord in this hour. But I'm seeing, friends, that many people are tired. Many people are tired from the mainstream media narrative. They're tired of the injustices. They're tired of the fight, they're tired of the battle, they're tired because they've lost friends and they've lost family and they thought it was all coming to an end and finally all the things were beginning to change, weren't they? Because they were replacing, they were replacing the, uh, the, the, um, the crisis, same agenda, a new crisis with the same agenda um, to take our world deeper. But friends, we've got to go deeper. While they go deeper with that evil, we've got to go deeper into God. Friends, let's really work on this. We've got to cry out to God. We've got to call out to him. Maybe we've got to repent. Maybe we've got to ask the Lord to help us for not going in, for not getting deeper into his presence. Because this is how all of the, all of the greats lived their lives. They lived their lives in the fullness of the Lord not just in the Bible times, but down through history, friends, we read about all these people, these great men and women of God. How did they become great? Not because their circumstances were great. No, because they knew that God was great and they'd had a revelation, a revelation of the Father. Friends, let's get a revelation. Let's get a revelation and, and this will give us the strength we need. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Have you got joy? The joy of the Lord is our strength, friends. We don't need to be tired. We don't need to be weak. But there I was yesterday filled suddenly in the evening filled suddenly and uh, it was an hour after that I, s I got up I walked into the bedroom to go to bed and I realized I'd also received quite a radical um, touch from God and I was not in the same predicament physical predicament that I had been in for the last three weeks and I need to say, friends, this is a this has been a constant battle. For any one of you who know any of the details, you know that it's been going on for a long time, not just three weeks, but it will it will uh, um, it will flare up. But in those times, friends, I'm left with the presence of the Lord. There is a mighty battle, and I do feel the presence of darkness in those times as well. But I feel the strong presence of Jesus. But I said to my wife, it's like something fell off. Well, I messaged the, the couple, actually, that I'd asked to pray for me yesterday. They messaged me to say that they saw like a snake falling off of me when they rebuked the sickness, and they rebuked the illness you know Jesus he rebuked spirits of infirmity sometimes friends these things come they come to attack to persecute the saints those who are wanting to live the life with God and we will all come up against these things friends we must never operate in the natural as a response we must always come in to the secret place and it's in that place friends that we're going to find all the strength and the joy that we need i'd like to say friends if you're being bamboozled by the mainstream media turn it off turn it off turn it off they've, they've changed it haven't they the the, the the hysteria the covid hysteria has been replaced with war hysteria they're continuing to break us down emotionally turn it off friends if it's if it Turn it off. I would not listen to that propaganda. A wartime propaganda is all lies. Historical. It's historical, friends. It's, it's historical. All the evidence is there. All of the other wars. And the truth will come out about this one as well, friends. But it will be brushed under the carpet, like the truth about the recent 
COVID situation. It all gets brushed under the carpet. It doesn't matter anymore. All of the injustices of the last two years, you see, because the war is here and we now can't talk about any of that because there's something else going on, something bigger, because the mainstream media has blown it up into such an incredible situation and is heading us into territory that we really do not want to go and don't we should not be party to it friends by supporting it we shouldn't support it we should support the kingdom support the kingdom of god love those who have been displaced bless those who are persecuted those displaced people those dear displaced people and i've seen wonderful pastors going out and helping those displaced people people that can't go out but are able to give money to causes to help specifically the people friends we there's a charity here that uh, was asking for military equipment to help the uh, ukrainians fight this war um, i wouldn't be party to that i wouldn't be party to that friends i wouldn't be party to war to get involved they were asking for thermal cameras it, 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 it was a bizarre request asking for thermal cameras berets uniforms all kinds of military gear that fighters would need but you know reports of all kinds coming out of there and it's such a such a mess such a mess and we know that Ukraine was already in a political mess anyway friends I don't support Russia the accusation is I support Russia because I don't support this aggression this hatred against what's happening friends they want to bring us into this they want us to bring in they want to bring us into this let's be wise let's not support any side any political side yes let's support the people who are suffering on both sides let's pray for both both of these traumatized nations and all the other nations that are being sucked into this friends and uh, you know whatever happens whether Jesus is coming back soon or we're going to meet him face to face soon whatever friends we have to remember our home our home is not here there will not be justice in this life justice is coming in the next life when the king of kings and the lord of lords will come will come and destroy all wickedness and all those who did evil all of the liars all of those who falsified all of those who killed all of those who made money off of the war facebook who is now banging and beating the war drum all of those friends the mainstream media the politicians there's much more to this than just meets the eye let's not look at this like it's some kind of a a game because it, it it is escalating and I don't want to have blood on my hands because I supported the the acceleration of this to devastating effects because I'll stand before God at the end of time and have to give a an account so let's pray this, this is time to pray friends it's time to be in the presence and the power and the mercy of God and and see his kingdom come in our lives maybe not see maybe not see things change maybe th see things get a lot worse but they can't get worse in our hearts friends when Christ is preeminent when Christ is manifesting hallelujah so some someone's obviously stuck in the road they do like to beat their horns on this side of the world um, praise the Lord friends let's stay let's stay in the peace let's stay in the presence 
let's not allow anything to come in and take away what God has given to us. Hallelujah. Friends, this world is not our home. Heaven is our home. Hallelujah. And we will reign with Christ Jesus if we overcome in this life. We will reign with him forever and ever. Let's, let's surrender. Let's lay down our all. Let's give everything up. To the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, let's lay down our hopes and our dreams, our angers, our fears. Let's surrender them at the feet of Jesus right now. Let me pray. Let me pray. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you right now for everyone listening. Lord, I ask you that you help everyone to lay down the burdens. Lay down the burdens. Hallelujah. At the feet of Jesus. I pray, Father, right now you give peace and you take out any hatred, any anger, any resentment. And Lord, I pray that you just fill the saints with your love in this hour. Love for everyone. Love, love for the, the saints. Love for the church. Anyone that they're disappointed in. Lord, that you give them your presence right now. Bring unity, I pray, Father, between families and between uh, brothers and sisters who have different ways of dealing with this situation. Father, I pray this for your absolute peace in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus. Amen. A really big, big God bless you, friends. I pray that you would know the power and the mercy of Christ today.